All right, my friends, so today we are looking at a new kind of little uh, video cage from the guys over at Newer. So this is something that I bought on Amazon. I reviewed something similar to this from them. It was a different cage, and I don't know if you guys can sort of see it back here on my shelf. And it's something that I use primarily here in the studio or if I'm going somewhere on set that I use that I can put as much gear as I want, and then it's normally on a tripod just sitting there but it's really designed so that I can just put a lot of stuff on it. I'm heading out this weekend and we're going to a Canon event to test out some new lenses and I wanted to get some video samples but I also didn't want to be bringing a full gimbal because that means with limited time I'd have to rebalance all the time and that just wasn't working. So I wanted something that I could get my arms out a little wider so that I could possibly hopefully get some more stable shots to make sure everything looks better. Because that's kind of the end goal, right? We want it to look better. So didn't want to invest a lot of money. So I went online, found this from Newer. This is it right here, the Newer Film Movie Making Camera Video Cage Kit. Comes in, just so you know, comes in one of two colors. This is one I bought. So you can get it in the red, because I like the red. Or you can get it with blue accents. I don't know if they have a photo here of the blue accents, but it's but it's there. You can get it with the blue, if you so choose. Four stars, looks like a, mostly five and fours, maybe one one star. Very well built versus cheap piece of garbage. Sending this one back because the handles weren't tight and because the bottom weighted part comes with screws that don't have a long enough thread to firmly attach it to the rest of the cage. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna find that out because that's one out of a whole bunch here that we're saying completely the opposite. So whenever there's a one that makes me concerned, and I'm not saying one star, I'm saying one review that doesn't like it. So that has a tendency to make me ponder, why is everybody else okay with it and this one person isn't? So we're gonna take a look. This is primarily gonna be used to mount my Canon RP, which is what's filming right now, so you're not gonna see that, but I'm gonna put it on my M50, just again, so you guys can see what it looks like. But you'll see more of that when I film it this weekend or film with it, I guess. All right, let's open this. So it comes with this fancy brown box, but hey, I don't mind the brown box because if you're gonna be sending me a fancy box, that also means you're gonna be sending me a fancy price tag. This was like 70 Canadian, so that's good. So we get the newer uh, pro quality customer support information. Thank you for buying, et cetera, et cetera. We get the little piece of paper that says, hey, it's a cage. This is all the stuff that comes in it and breakdown. We got the cage, we got the rails at the bottom, and we got the top handle, plus the Allen keys with the screws. So that's funny because they were saying the screws weren't tight enough, but it comes with the tools for you to tighten them. Is that not what they said? Setting this one back because the handles weren't tight and because the bottom part comes with screws that don't have long enough thread. Long enough thread, so we'll look, okay. And then we get the rails. So red-ish okay not red on the ends for sure pinky red i guess maybe i should have went with blue whatever i don't mind the red that's red there's your handle okay that's a, that's a good handle you get your screws so there's two sets of screws here so you get bigger screws with with the allen key and then a set of smaller ones with a smaller allen key put those over there and last but not least we should this is what's really filling up the whole box. I don't want to just knock this over. And last but not least, we get the cage. So for one, these are the handles. These are not moving anywhere. They said these are loose. I don't quite understand that. This is a tightening bracket right here. So if you loosen that, these loosen. This, you just tighten up, right? And you'll feel it snug. And now it's tight, one on both sides. Now, the real question is, why would you want to loosen these? Well simply so that you could remove it it's it's it allows this whole top piece to come off if you so chose so let's let's mount the rest so this i got it upside down <laughs> so this is where your camera is going to mount so we'll do that we'll do that right away okay here's my here's my camera make sure everything's we're going to take this mic off nice and simply this is going to fit right here 
I actually have to say I like that there's a big that's a big dial. Makes snugging this up super nice. Once you got that, you just kind of that's not going anywhere. And the reason I wanted this and not one of the small cage or whoever they are that does that is that I didn't want one that was fit or specific for a camera. I wanted one that I could be like, doesn't matter what camera I have now or tomorrow or in the future, or if someone lets me borrow one, there's a good chance it's gonna fit in here. So there's lots of room, which is excellent. But that fits on there beautifully. The bottom, we have this piece. So this, I'm wondering if this was where the concern was. So I'm gonna spin this upside down. This is gonna be your tripod hole right there. So you wanna make sure that's on the bottom. So there's one side has one side has three, one side has two. This is gonna be the bottom where it mounts and the cage would fit on this side. Now this is the part that I think this person may have had the concern. And the reason for that, I'm gonna bring this up here so you guys can see that up top here, is that here's, here's the concern, and I wanna make sure I got the right bolts in here, which I do, okay. Um, I wouldn't think it really matters which of these I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm not sure which which of these, the bigger or the smaller that you're gonna use. I'm actually going to use, I think, put them in just to see. So if you put the littler ones in there, hopefully you guys can see that. You got about that much coming out and that should be fine. This one here, I think is probably deeper. So I'm gonna use the other ones there. This is maybe where they had the concern. Maybe they were trying to put the screws all the way through, but these, they're not where this is. These are designed for different tripod mount holes, which again is the bottom. This is gonna go on here like so, and then you're simply gonna feed this through the top here to get it into that screw, and you're gonna tighten all the way through. Gotta get that in there, make sure you don't strip it, because you don't wanna do that. And that, that's on like a charm. I have a feeling that that rating is based on the fact that they're like, you can't put your screw all the way in here. It doesn't fit. And the simple answer is no, because that's not how it works. Because if you had these screws on here, this would no longer be flush, which means that it would no longer attach to your tripod. And that's no good. So those are on great. And again, I have full access to this, this guy here to tighten my camera on there. So that's a win, loving that. And then last but not least, we got our top handle. So you guys can kind of figure out how far or, far or back you want. I'm gonna put it kind of right in the middle. We just have our screws there and there. And the reason, yeah, so I chose rightly. I chose rightly, I chose correctly. See how these, when they go in, hopefully you guys can see that. When they go in, they're flush perfectly to the top. So they're not gonna stick out when these are in there all the way. So you just kind of line those up. So you've heard me say this before, when you see a review online, I read reviews all the time. I do reviews all the time, but I read them because I wanna see if what they're saying is valid. You know, and so when you and I aren't necessarily a tester and we're not going to be someone that decides, hey, I'm gonna trust what this person says because he didn't like it. And if there was 10 reviews up there, 20, and you know, the majority of them were saying they don't fit, then, then I'd be then I'd be concerned that maybe they're correct. When there is a bunch of reviews and one of them says no, I'm not quite down with it. So usually that might be a bit of a user error, which it looks like it may have been. All right, guys, so look at that, right? Boom, that's perfect. I can get some nice, nice shots with that coming in there because my hands are wider. Boo! And if I so want, I could take one of these. Now I have a whole bunch of mounting spots to this if you want, so want to, which is super cool. And I have a screw somewhere that has a quarter inch to a cold shoe. So I can use that to mount to this. I'm gonna be using this this weekend. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. More of the video coming up right away. Stay tuned. I didn't end up shooting with the cage at all this weekend because time was a factor and it was so crammed full of stuff that you were one camera, another camera, new lens, this lens, et cetera, et cetera. So um, watch some of the future videos. Watch some of the videos coming out shortly. I'll be using it whenever I can. That's all I'm gonna say. I like it. I'm, you know, I wish I could tell you more. I shot around the house a little bit. Uh, I did shoot some stuff in the hotel that we were at just because I was playing with it, but nothing too official. Does it fit? Yes. Would I buy it again? Sure. 
Is it well built? Without question. Um, are all the reviews seem to be on par pretty good except for the one which I hope my video shows why I possibly disagree with what that person said. Anyways, I'm gonna leave you guys there. Wish I could have showed you some more of me using it, but that'll come up. Don't worry, future video, it'll happen. All right, my friends, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll put a link down below if you guys wanna get one. Kinda cool, newer film cage. Later, guys.